Today is going to be one of those exclusive versus exclusive battles that I have become to love so much. Now, I have two places that I believe have two exclusives that are going to be perfect to put up to battle. But this time, I'm going to do this a little different. This time, we're going to judge these in three different ways. We're going to judge them one off the box. Two, we're going to judge them off the paint job and just the general creativity in the in the pop itself. And then third, I need you to throw a comment down below on which one of these guys you think won the exclusive versus exclusive battle today. And then I will make a post naming the winner of this exclusive versus exclusive. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to get in there and pick up these exclusives because these are these are definitely two epic exclusives that you're going to want to get your hands on. I mean, I can't even believe that you can still pick these up in store, to be honest with you. Let's get this battle started. One down. <laughs> Let's go get the second one. And this is going to be a really awesome exclusive versus exclusive battle. So we're going to have Walmart and we're going to have GameStop. As you already know, you can see from the video, right? Those are the two exclusives we're going to be going through. And both of these exclusives have really awesome calls behind them. Let's, let's get into this battle. And don't forget that you have a say in this battle as well. This is not going to be a one-sided vote. You're going to have a vote in this battle as well. You're going to have to throw a comment right down below on which one of these pops you think is the best. And remember, we're going to judge it in two ways. We're going to judge it based off the box, and we're going to judge it based off the pop itself. The creativity that went behind it is the two things that we're going to judge it on. Thirdly, we're going to judge it on your vote. So your vote is going to count right down in the description below and then after this video is posted I'm going to make a post announcing the winner I think that this is really cool I hope that you're as excited about this as I am so we have the Walmart exclusive which is going to be the Earth Day friend bear Oh, this thing, <laughs> this thing right here. I have been really excited about the Earth Day stuff and, and all of the Earth Day stuff that they came out with. Surprisingly enough, as long as I've been collecting Funkos, I did not know that they had Earth Day Pops. And I look, I'm, I'm really excited that I found that out this year. These boxes are super creative but we're going to knock points against this box today. And this is why we're going to knock points. Because it has no finish on it means it's going to retain water. Because it's going to retain moisture, I don't think these boxes are going to age well unless you put them in some kind of protector to hold the box in place. That's just that's just my thoughts on this. This one is number 1123 out of the group. I think that the friend bear was probably the best one to pick for Earth Day. Let's let's take a closer look at this box. So so it does does have the Walmart exclusive sticker on there. I'm super excited to see that. I really wanted to see the Earth Day sticker. Like I said a second ago though, the box itself is going to retain moisture because it has no kind of finish to stop it from retaining moisture. So I think that these boxes are not going to age that well unless you put it in some kind of protector. My plan is to put these in some sort of protector. I think that these boxes are really awesome. They they have the like going green on the back with 70% of this package being from recycled products. I'm glad to see that Funko is, is doing things like that as a company as big as they are. I think that they should be looking at ways that they can help minimize their impact or their footprint on the world. I think that that's great of them to do this. Friendship Bear is... let's. Let's take a closer look at Friend Bear. So Friend Bear is really cool. Now, I'm not really big into Care Bears, but because this is Friend Bear and this is Earth Day, I'm super behind this one. I love the fact that they got the hearts on both their hands, but check this out. Not only do they have hearts on both her hands, they have hearts on her feet. Tell me, look, that took some attention to detail to get that down. They have the heart on her butt. Now, here's the thing that Funko has been doing lately that I am still going to shun Funko on. The body and the head are two different colors. The body is a gloss, the head is a matte, and it has something to do with the way that they are doing these. I mean, I, I can't believe that they're not stopping this, but it's probably because us as a community are not noticing it as enough as we should be. The body is a gloss, the head is a matte. I am going to instantly deduct points away from that as well. So, on the box, we're going to give the box on this one, let's say, we're, we're going to give it, we're going to give it 
Let's go eight out, eight out of ten wanes is what we're going to do on that one. And then on the pop itself, because they they didn't get the body and the head the same color, other than that, they did a really good job with her, but we're going to give it six out of ten wanes because of that. So that one's going to give this one an overall score of 14. <laughs> don't, don't forget that your vote is going to count for five points. So whatever the spread is, you will have a five-point vote in this, no matter what it is. Next is going to be another really awesome exclusive. I've really gotten behind these so much more than I think probably I should have. But I, I, I've, I've managed to get my hands on every single one of these so far is going to be the Make-A-Wish... Fungal Pops. Now, this one is the GameStop exclusive. This is an SE. We know that anytime they start coming in with special editions, they don't give them numbers. I really think that the Earth Day Pop should have been an SD as well, SE as well. I'm not 100% sure why they weren't. These boxes are super creative, though. I love how they went to that blue look. These pops so far, hands down, have been my favorite pops, I mean, to date. So this box, let's let's take a closer look at this box. So this box is a little different than all of your other Star Wars box. It's got the blue, I mean, with the exception of the blue, it's the same pop, and it's got the pop with pur purpose, the SE. I'm not super thrilled about the multiple stickers on the front of them, though. I mean, maybe we should start moving these over to the side, or, or moving one of them to the side, or stack. I, I don't know. I don't know what the correct answer is, but I know at some point, I've seen some of them that had three and four stickers on them. I think that's, that's a bit excessive, right? I mean, we're, we're kind of moving into an excessive realm when we have three and four stickers on the front of these guys. This is, this is the Stormtrooper, though. Y'all know how I feel about these blues, so I'm going to try and be, like, super unbiased when it comes to this one. I'm going to give the box the same as I gave this one, though. We're going to give it 8 out of 10, Wayne. So, so it's going to start off in the same position that the, the, the friend bear started off in. Let's take a closer look at this Stormtrooper, though. So right off the bat with the Stormtrooper, I'm going to tell y'all that I have been really in love with the Stormtrooper themselves. The only thing that I don't like is the fact that it is a recycled mold. And I think both of them are probably recycled molds, to be honest with you. The paint job on him is done really well, though. I've actually painted one of these myself. I mean, so I know exactly how hard it is to try and get all of the detail in. So they did a really, really good job at getting all of the detail in. Now, right on the front of it, you'll notice that the hand itself has this big paint missing so I'm going to deduct points for that one as well I've really been in love with these so so just just on what I've seen at this moment we are going to give this one let's let's see let's let's do a 7 out of 10 wanes is what we're going to do on this one. And so, so that puts this one in the lead by one point at this moment. But don't forget that you have a say in which one of these guys are going to win the exclusive versus exclusive battle. I'm super excited to see which one of these guys take it at this point. I... Oh, I, I would have deducted a point for his head too as well if I would have noticed that just a minute ago, but we're not going to do that at this moment. I still got a lot to do in the studio getting all of this all of this straightened out and all of this good stuff, but that is going to wrap up yet another exclusive versus exclusive battle. I hope that you enjoy these as much as I enjoy making them. And the studio is coming back together slowly but surely. Just let me say thank you for all the love and support and the concern about the studio. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. But but check this out. The Pac-Man machine is still going. 